hotel pinned Devontae Mitchell to the ground. The employees who restrained him. Been- okay, initially, there's so many questions that need to be asked. But my one main question is this. How did those two security guards from a high outside company have the authority to restrain this man if they're not the police? Now, I'm somebody that has knowledge in this, you know, field of work. And I know this for a fact that those two guards didn't have the right to restrain the man that way that, well, in the manner that they did. You know what I'm saying? You don't stick your knees and your, uh, and, and, and you don't stick your knees into somebody's back and their neck like your, your cops and your not cops. Security guards do not have the right to restrain somebody like that unless they were attacked. Now, it says that they were attacked. But still, at the same time, they didn't have the presence of mind to pick the guy up and just fling him out the hotel and lock the door and call the cops. They go full George Floyd and hold the guy to the lobby floor with their limbs until he eventually expires. This right here is a wrongful death suit and a homicide. If I was the family, I would sue Hyatt Regency Hotels and a security firm. Those two guards had no business restraining that man like that, even if he had a medical episode. Like that being that it was, you know, he was going through something psychologically. They're not the police. They don't have the same legal powers that the police have. So I don't know why the employees in the hotel didn't think to tell the two guards to stop. This is ridiculous, man. But it's believable, but ridiculous. Wrongful death, lawsuit, homicide. If it's any time to protest, I think it would be now. Good luck to the family. Be blessed.